Well guys, it's disputting day on the farm again. So this will be the last round of disputting that we have to do. These are gonna be Mavis's two boys, I believe, are horned. Uh, we think that the two girls are pulled. So one of the boys is blue-eyed, the other's brown-eyed, both are horned, and then both of the girls are brown-eyed and pulled. So kind of a mixed combo from Mavis, but pretty cool regardless. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy But things are finally right With you and I The future is bright Okay, it's the weekend before we leave for the goat show So we have a lot to do We have to, even though it's a fuzzy show We're going to shave up their legs And their head and around their tail so first up, we're going to do Dottie. We're going to get her shaved and cleaned up. It's a fuzzy show, so their body's going to stay hairy, but we have to trim up the legs and the head. So we always get asked what clippers we use, and they are the Andis AGC Super 2-Speed Clippers. You can find them on Amazon or if you shop around at some horse tax supply online places, they sell them. And we are going to use the Blade... 7 FC for the head and the legs and see if that looks good enough. If not, we'll use a 10. So as the numbers go up, the shorter it cuts the hair. So a 7 is a little bit longer than a 10 and we use a 40 or a 50 on the other. Oh look, it's joining the party. What's up? Is it trimming? Can you get Donnie? Remember this thing? The torture device? Yeah. So we did get this little attachment for the stand and it works really awesome. They can't move their head up and down like they could in a milk stand. And for clipping, this is legit. Legit. Dottie in her show trim. She's got her head shaved, her ears, her legs, a little bit around her tail. Oh boy. So this is gonna be prep weekend and I've gotta get this trailer rigged up so that we can get all of our goats in here safely and separated. Um, so we, we picked this up for right now. It's just going to sit in here and I'm thinking of making some dividers and kind of just getting this trailer rigged up a little bit better for our goat situation. All right, guys, it is all done. I got the trailer all rigged up. We ended up using that square pen and I kind of broke it up into pieces and mounted it in the trailer a little bit differently. I didn't really have much of a plan, so we kind of just, we just winged it and it came out really good. You ever get in those situations where you're not really sure what you're gonna do and then you get about halfway done and you're like, yeah, this is, this is coming out pretty good. So that was today. I used the front of the pen with the door, you know, the factory door right here on the end. And I was able to kind of brace it in here. So it's all braced nice and solid. I actually used a piece of the roof because it used to it has a roof with a tarp but i used that piece right there just kind of used it to support the rest of it so we have enough room to where we can lock the goats in step up into the trailer or open the gate and have you know open the back of the trailer and not have the goats run out and so we can go in and there will be some goats in this first pen which basically it's a two horse trailer so there used to be a big divider that went in here and you couldn't swing the divider open 
with anything in here. You couldn't even stand on one side of it. So it was kind of a waste of space for us. So I did take the divider out and we'll, we'll hang on to that just in case we ever get rid of the trailer. But it's nice to have two separate pens so we can put a set of goats in that pen over there. And then we can put a set of goats in this pen over here. I ended up making a door right here. I put some hinges on it and hinged it to that post right there so that this door will open up. And then that's how we can get goats into there. We also have a door that goes into our trailer right there. So we can access this pen either from this side or from the other side if there's goats in here. But all, I think it came out pretty slick. I had to think of a few things as I went. Over here, I painted all the hardware black to match. It just kind of, I just thought it looked nicer. And it's, it's, it's pretty solid. So I was worried that the goats were gonna rub against it and be able to move it and stuff, but, but it's in there actually really solid. It was set up for horses. So this is where there used to be like a stall or a, uh, a saddle rack and some other things. And this is where we're gonna keep our, probably our hay and our food, our water buckets, all of our show materials, like our wagon. It's also got a nice little um, pull out you know, right here so we can put some stuff in there. We hang all of our show collars right here. So we really wanted to utilize this. It takes up a little bit of space, but we really wanted to utilize this space for all of our stuff that we have to take. Really excited to go to our first show. Um, that's coming up here pretty soon. And we'll take you guys along with us. We're going to hopefully bring Mavis, Gertrude. We're probably pretty much gonna bring everybody since we don't really wanna leave anybody behind. So Mavis and all her babies and all of the other goats are gonna to come to the show. We're not sure who we're gonna actually show yet, but I think everybody, the whole, the whole crew's coming. Should be a good time. It's afternoon nap time on the farm. Everybody's hanging. Fawn likes to sleep on top of Fern. Then you got Dottie and Popcorn. And way back there's Lemon Squeezy. Hi, Lemon. Yes, she's a good girl. Come here. So the two bucklings ended up being horned, so they were just budded. But the two dolings are definitely pulled, so that's cool. Yeah, that's good news. Come on, sugar. So this one's name is going to be sugar, powdered sugar, and the other one is maple bar. Are you maple bar? It's so pretty. And this guy, we've been calling him Silver Fox, but... Oh, I really want to keep him. Let him draw? That's rude. She's so pretty. What are you doing? There's Silver Fox. Silver Fox. Oh! <laughs> what are you doing? Check out Mavis's udder. This is perfection. Perfection at its peak. It's absolutely perfect. Good job, Mavis. Remember how we microtripped Mavis specifically for show season? She wouldn't get missed because you couldn't read her tattoos and her dark ears? Well, they are behind on processing papers, so we actually don't have Mavis's papers back and we're probably not gonna be able to show her, which is devastating 
devastating. I'm gonna give it one more try to try and get her papers on Monday, just have them, see if they can just send them back to me without processing them, because as long as we have them, we can show her. And she has the most beautiful first freshening udder I've ever seen, and it's a shame if we can't take her. Oh. They don't really like this one. The Rebel and Joe. Her nose. Her likes everything. Before I sleep. Hear the cricket, see the moon Side by side and through and through No limit to what we can do Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right Bye. 